All right, let's talk about anchor points, what they are and why we would want to use them. So if I go here, I can see anchor points are located right here under the magic wand, and I'll get into uh, using those in a second, but that's what I'm referring to in this video. So you can see I have a spaceship here. I have um, the UVs right here. And if I go into Smart Materials, I'm going to go ahead and add this. Um, I think I'm going to add this one. P uh, uh, steel painted scraped dirty it's found under the smart materials and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it on and drop it onto our ship and I can see that it looks like it's not specific for our ship that's because there's it's not baked yet so if I come over here I'm gonna go to my texture set settings I'm gonna come down here to buy bake mesh maps and I'm gonna set this to 2k and I'm just gonna leave all this alone and hit bake selected textures now it's going to analyze the mesh and what it's doing is it's finding where the curve, where the crevices are, where the edges are, where all of that is. And you'll notice that because it knows where those edges are, it knew where to chip the paint. Okay. So you could say that, hey, if there was like a, I don't know, like a 90 degree angle or an edge, that paint got chipped off of there. And then I can also see that rust or dirt kind of accumulated in these crevices. And it knew that because when we baked it, I can actually come down here and I can see that curvature um, is it found these edges and then ambient occlusion is finding the crevices. And that's kind of behind the scenes of what's going on. And if that doesn't make sense, you don't really need to know about that. But I feel like I just kind of wanted to show there's these baked maps that are really kind of driving the mask. So if I look in here, if I look in the smart material, the paint, okay, right here, this mask that's on there is really what's driving where the paint is. And if I look down here, I can see that it's using the curvature map and the ambient occlusion map to figure out essentially how to paint this map black and white to give the illusion that it's chipped in the corners. So what does this have to do with anchor points? Well. I'm going to um, create a new normal map and I want to paint a manual normal map and create some paneling here. So I'm going to hold down control and drag my mouse, uh, left mouse button, or I'm sorry, right mouse button and then drag up and then drag it to the left. There we go, make a small kind of um, paintbrush. And I'm going to double click on this layer one and I'm going to call this panels. And now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn everything off. Whoop. I'm going to turn everything off except height and normal. Okay. And I'm going to bring that left of center. And now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go ahead and drag. Hold down shift. I clicked once. Hold down shift. And I'm going to create some panels here. And I feel like I get a good illusion of the panel if I hold down um, shift right mouse click I can rotate the lighting now it looks like there's depth there but I feel like one thing that's missing is that the paint is not chipping on the corner of these panels and also dirt is not accumulating inside of the panels uh, why is that well because remember this is a normal map this is just an illusion of depth it doesn't really know that it's there so ideally what I would want is I would want when I paint height, I want it to dynamically change this mask right here that is revealing the steel underneath it. Um, so, and the, kind of to make it aware that it exists and to alter this mask. That's really what an anchor point is doing. So here's how I do this. I'm gonna go to my panels and I'm gonna say, hey, this is important. So I'm gonna set an anchor point. When I set an anchor point, I can name it but I'm gonna call it panels, that's fine. Now if I come back up here, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna to go to the mask builder of the paint mask. Okay, so this is my important mask that I'm referring to right here. And if I go to this, I can come down here and I can see that most of these slots are taken up. Okay, um, and, and those are what it's using from the baked maps to produce this map here. But I can see that there's something called micro normal and micro height. These are kind of like extra ones that they put in so we can do this kind of stuff. 
And if I go to micro height, I can come up here and you can see that anchor point is now a choice. So if I click on that, I can choose panels. Now it knows that to look for this, but you can see it's still not doing anything. I want to come down here and the reference channel, I want to be height. And as soon as I did that, you can see it already worked, but if it didn't, I want to make sure that I come up here and micro details, I want my micro height to be set to true. Okay, I, could, I guess I could turn off micro normal. I'll just leave them both set to true. Now what's cool is if I come down here to panels, if I paint, I can see that it's dynamically chipping the paint away at the corners, which when I paint on here, it's actually driving the effect of this mask here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now if I painted more kind of panels, aha, now my paint job is looking right along with it. Okay, I can also maybe set this to, to the high and now when I go like this, my um, bolts are chipping. Okay, excellent. Hey, that's pretty cool. The other thing too is that, let's say if I wanted this dirt. So this dirt is accumulating in certain areas, but I feel like it'd probably accumulate more if I um, made it aware of these panels. So since I already have my anchor point established, I can go to this dirt and I'm gonna go to the mask builder here. Come down here, once again, micro height, anchor point, hey, use the panels and use the height. Aha, so right away, I can see that now I'm getting dirt accumulating on the edges there to really give that um, that extra detail to make it feel like it's, um, you know, that it's not just the height detail, but all everything's kind of playing along with it. So now once again, if I come down to my panels here, and if I create something, that dirt is accumulating properly. The wire chipping is accumulating properly. Whoop, and this is sticking up. I don't want that to stick up. I want that to be down. Ah, there we go, that's awesome. Okay, and now maybe I want the bolts to stick up and I can click on this. Okay, so with one click, I'm creating a normal map and that normal map is responding properly and the dirt is responding properly. One thing that I should note about this is that the um, the anchor point that you're doing has to be below what you're working on. So if I put this above it, it's not going to understand it. So I just want to make sure that this is below it and it can be as it can be as far below as you want it. but once again, I can have anything in my, um, you know, any of these masks um, basically find this by simply clicking on the mask or the generator of the mask and then going to the micro normal and then telling it about it. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below.